Neutrogena traveled the country in search of the most stressed out girls in America. We brought them to New York City and put them to the test to find out who was the one less stressed. And today, we're talking about time management. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm from Jasper, Indiana, and I'm 20 years old. <laughs> City, Florida. Ah! <laughs> hey, my name is Courtney. I'm 21 years old and I'm from McMinnville, Tennessee. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'm so I really want to try this. It's foamy. Oh my gosh. You have a new stress mail. Hi girls, I'm Hayden Panettiere and welcome to Neutrogena's One Less Stress. Tomorrow we're going to learn all about time management so there's no time to stress. Get some sleep and we'll see you in the morning. So girls, welcome to Neutrogena's One Less Stress, which is a series devoted to helping you guys with your stress. And today we're going to be talking about time management. You know, you wake up in the morning, you're lying there thinking all the million things you have to do. It gets a little overwhelming. So today I brought Julie Morgenstern here with me. She is a time management guru. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> I wanted to just start out by finding out a little bit about what does stress you out when it comes to your time. Going into my senior year, there's so much stuff to do. There's my major and then I work on the side. I feel like you have 10 million things to do and then 10 minutes to do it, man. I'm about to graduate, so do the internship, the job, school, um, friends. It's really a big headache. It's just it's so hard to juggle school and work and friends and family. And then sometimes you want to sleep, too. <laughs> so let's get started and talk about this lesson, shall we? Julie, it's all you. Okay. <laughs> the very first thing you need to do is prioritize. You've got to really figure out what is most important and start always from the top down. And as you look down that to-do list, ask how quickly does this task get me to my goal? The second thing you need to do is do the math. How often when you make a to-do list do you actually write down how long the task is going to take next to that item? Never. Right? <laughs> Nobody ever does that. You just write how much I have to do and it goes on for 14 pages. Then what does that give you? Stress. And then the third thing you need to do is really strategize. You want to group similar tasks, errands, and group thinking time, and group social time. So what are we going to do? We're going to prioritize, we're going to do, do the, the math, math, and then strategize. strategize. I feel less stressed already. Good. It's a way to take feel control. Feel the stress. It's coming off. It's coming Good. off. <laughs> Questions. Well, how do you deal with like small interruptions? Like if you plan ahead that night before, like during this time, I know I have an hour to work on this paper, and then all of a sudden your friend calls. If you've got an hour to work on something, why are you picking up your phone? Why are you checking your email? Like, don't do those things. Those are procrastination. <laughs> Shut devices. your internet off when you're on the computer. I do that all the time. I just get sidetracked by right? anything. Anything will sidetrack yeah. me, no matter what. And. I, it's kind of like you just hope for someone to call. Maybe they'll call me so I have to do my homework, you know? <laughs> That's what you're thinking the whole time. So Hayden's going to tell you all about your challenge today. Uh, Woo! <laughs> little pressure here. We have a list of tasks for all of you to complete in two hours. Each task has a point value. The goal is to get as many points as possible, but you'll also be judged how well you listen to Julie's tips and your stress factor. Ready for the light, will it please change? Okay, let's go. Okay, I just wrote in my journal, met five friends, and walked the dog. I gotta get my application. I am now a CVS applicant for employment. I applied, but I didn't get the job. Got my five text messages. I'm summarizing my stress lesson. Call a friend and chat for five minutes. List as many state capitals as I can in ten minutes. Wait, the little is not the capital of Pennsylvania. Okay, what was the last one? Juno. I'm gonna create a resume. I'm going to learn five new SAT words. And write a ten line paragraph summarizing my stress here. I hate stress. Yes, I do. I hate stress. How about you? You got it, man. It's your stress. Be stress yourself. Hey, girl. 
How did you think it went? It was stressful. Oh. It was intense. There was a lot of stuff on that list. Well, all of you did a great job, but this was not a challenge of just points. It was a challenge of how you managed yourself with the stress. So Julie's going to tell you a little bit about how you did in that area. So Courtney, let me start with you. You were calm on the outside and positive. It was very steady throughout your entire time. I mean, if you're not going to put like 100% in it, why do it? But I think you were prioritizing based on convenience and ease rather than most important, highest value. Send out five text messages, easy stuff. I got it. CJ, you were incredibly creative. I believe I walked down on her doing sit-ups and <laughs> mowing the lawn at the same time. Who does that? That was crazy. But it was too much multitasking. And I think that's how you ended up frantic. Right. My stress level right now is out of control. <laughs> so Amanda, you stopped and you prioritized first. What's the highest value task? And I think that that was tremendous. I put stars next to things I know that I want to do in each category. Constructive criticism. You were so intimidated by this list. You were like, <gasps> I looked at that list and I was like, oh my God. My stress level is probably as high as the Empire State Building right there. But you caught yourself. As we said, you guys all did a fantastic job. What our decision came down to was the one who really incorporated the lesson and handled their stress the best. Now, it was a really hard decision, but there can only be one less stressed. And the one less stressed is... Ready? Ready. Amanda! Your prize is a thousand dollars to the Apple Store to get all the cool gadgets so you can help yourself manage your time oh and the cost them along wow. the way. And you guys each get two hundred dollars to the Apple Store to get some. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Remember the three tips: prioritize, do the math, and strategize. And you'll check that to-do list off in no time. I'm Hayden Panettiere for Nutrigena's One Less Stress. Till next time. Bye. All right.